Yeah. All right, folks. Uh, welcome back. Uh, it's Friday, the uh, Happy Friday, by the way. Friday, the twenty fourth of May, uh, two thousand and nineteen. The link up here in blue will be in the description in case you want to go and read it. And you might want to go and read this story because there's a sea change uh, apparently happening, not with standing the uh, Daily Records um, reporting and their style of reporting with regard to this story, but also uh, quite a difference in terms of um, sentence and attitude of the Paisley Sheriff Court in comparison to Hamilton Sheriff Court. Do you remember, I've done two videos um, with regard to a Hamilton Sheriff, uh, Hamilton Sheriff in the Hamilton Sheriff Court who showed extraordinary leniency to two offenders, two convicted offenders in his court. The one uh, first offender who was um, convicted of having child pornography and um, sharing child pornography, he gave him a two year suspended and two years on the child sex register. Outrageous. Right? Now, I can understand the two year suspended because it was in possession of child uh, pornography, but the two years, only two years on the sex offenders register was an outrage. Minimum is 10 years. And then the worst case scenario of this particular sheriff, Tommy, I can't remember his surname, um, was to give a man who had done something similar to this individual. He had groomed a, uh, what he thought was a child. In fact, it was a, uh, a concerned parent acting as a decoy within a chat room, a child's chat room, that this degenerate had log, uh, log, um, latched onto, uh, sending sexual uh, messages, asking for this, asking for that, all sexually orientated, um, basically trying to groom uh, what he thought was a 13, a 13 year old, and then ultimately arranged to meet for sex. Now he was given two years suspended and also two years uh, on the child sex register, another outrageous sentence. All right, now this guy is reporting this, Ron Moore, seems to have a, um, a more balanced approach. And we're not getting any more nonsense about vigilantes. Because remember, Ron Moore, and maybe you do understand, um, that these people are protecting all children. It could be your children, Ron Moore, that this degenerate latches on to. Or it could be any reporter in there, or editor, photographer, whatever. So bear that in mind when you call people vigilante, all right? Now that degenerate there is called Robert Gibson. He um, targeted an undercover pedophile hunter he thought was a 12 year old girl. And basically um, he tried to groom someone he thought was a 12 year old for sex. Um, Gibson was actually in touch with a member of Wolfpack. Brilliant. Paisley Sheriff Court heard Gibson was unmasked after the group confronted him at his parents' home. See him now! Robert, come and speak to me now. Right. Right. Robert, can I just? No, I... But it's for it's for our protection. Stop. Right. It's for our own protection. In, I didn't. I didn't give. I did not. You're drunk. Get in. I don't remember that. This is a police matter. Over sexually explicit conversations with adult volunteer Karen Karen Ferry. Good on you, Karen. Um, who had been posing posing as a youngster. Um, Procurator of Fiscal Deputy Kerry Marshall said, Witness Kerry, Kerry Ferry is a 46-year-old female and part of a group called Wolfpack Hunters. She was posing as Ava. She was contacted by the accused whose profile name was Robert. He had a profile picture of his face. Um, she goes on to explain um, basically what, what took place. During the conversation, he said he wanted to teach her to kiss, that he wanted to touch his private, wanted her to touch his private parts, and that he wanted to have sex with her with, without wearing a condom and a 12-year-old. Now, the man's 41. What, what, what is going on? Wait till you hear where he works. This is, this is, you know, this doesn't surprise me. I said to you before, these people are everywhere, right? Anyway, the court heard screenshots of these lurid, Screenshots of these lurid chats were saved by uh, Miss Ferry in the group. These include exchanges where he told Ava he could show her that sex is not sore and he asked her if her mum checked her phone. Holy Toledo. Pure groomer. 
He sent photographs, so he sell naked photographs. Um, after he was caught, he was dumbstruck and he replied, I'm fucked, I will lose my job. <laughs> Gibson has resigned from his job at the UK Passport Office. Can you imagine that? He has since been kicked out of his parents' house and, had been live, and has been living in homeless accommodation. Good. Good. That's absolutely brilliant. You absolute rat bag. He pleaded guilty to a charge of sending indecent communications to a person he believed to be under the age of 13 for the purposes of obtaining sexual gratification or causing humiliation, distress or alarm to her and to causing her to look at a sexual image for the purpose of obtaining sexual gratification. Gibson appeared for sentencing before Sheriff Francis McCartney. Well done, Francis. After the court had obtained background reports. Now, he's, 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 uh, his lawyer obviously has to try and talk up for him. He's trying to get him, um, you know, disposed of in the community um, and that he would be willing to comply. Now, he hasn't, got, he hasn't got a record. But that doesn't matter, right? Given what he was going to do. Um, and he said, in my, res in my respectful opinion, the interests of justice would be better served in the future if we, if we were made subject to an order. So an order to be in the community. No, it wouldn't. He. You're just saying that because you're his, ba his barrister or his lawyer. Sheriff McCartney told Gibson, this is a very serious matter, that's right. You, had never, you have never served a period of custody before, nor do you have any previous conviction convictions. Notwithstanding that, for charge one, only a custodial sentence is appropriate, given the gravity of the offence. That's right. She handed him 15 months in custody and placed him on, wait for this, the Sex Offenders Register for 10 years. Bravo, Sheriff Francis McCartney. That's how you deal out justice to that guy there. 41 years of age, and he's talking to a wee 13 year old girl. That's what he thought. Aye. Brilliant. Okay, so there we go. Not a great story to be talking about, but you know, a great result that he's in the jail and hopefully getting tormented. Right? Okay, folks. Uh, if you like the content, don't forget to give us a wee like and possibly subscribe. Uh, peace out.